Hey crew, so we're up on the top of Mount Bull at the highest tip. We've just done a live video on our Facebook group, Oz Full Before Adventures. That's O Z F O U R, how you spell for, Oz Four with a B Y. <laughs> just blew a spider off my arm, sorry about that. <laughs> um, Oz Four Before Adventures on Facebook. Um, up here, a lot of places. That live video will be up there for a little while, but you won't get to see it, unfortunately. So if you're on that group, you might see if you want to worry about live stuff or not. Otherwise, if you subscribe to this channel, Full Before Touring Australia, you'll get to see it all in the end. So this is up on Mount Buller. Um, just quickly, I'll go through um, a few of the things you can see. Obviously, this is Little Mount Buller here in front of us. Um, the bluff over there. Look, the, the interesting one is... Jeez, I don't know where these flying spiders are coming from, but uh, that's the new giant swimming pool. Okay, no, it's not a swimming pool. It's actually water for the snow making, obviously, because it's all about the cha-ching, the money, and when there's not enough snow, you need to make more so you can get the people up, keep them entertained for the cha-ching factor, cha-ching. Right, if you look really careful at the end of that road in the cul-de-sac, you can see our little Prado, right? It's where it is and over this side you can see that's the valley where the Hauqua River runs <sighs> you're right there is mozzies up here they're landing on my finger we're in broad daylight they're everywhere anyway the river will run down along that valley from the right middle of the picture to the left and then it goes up the hill you might not be able to see it I don't know the detail of quality on this one straight middle of the picture the track goes up away from the river sort of headed south winding south the bluff over there we're gonna head back down this track um, so if you come up or near Mount Buller and it's a nice fine day, not too windy because it can be dangerous if it's windy up here. You don't want a hot day because obviously, you know, hot walking. It can be quite cool up here though, so pick a day that's, you know, warm and probably sunny or not sunny. Sunny for the views, eh? In case it's not sunny when you come up. Check that out. Right, so they're doing some work down here. If you look straight across... That's Mount Sterling, middle of the picture. And really carefully, you can see the track that comes up. It winds around the hill, it's sort of on the left, and then round to the right and goes right across the middle in the lull of that middle of that hill there. I'm thinking about camping up there, maybe even tonight. So anyway, we'll head a little bit back down this hill to give you an idea what it looks like in case you want to know what it's like for in case you're bringing kids. I would suggest only, look, you know, Mitch is behind me. He's eight, nearly nine. So he knows where to put his feet and keep his balance and all that sort of thing. Because um, it is, you know, you're not far from the edge here, guys. If one of the kids goes astray or whatever, you know, wouldn't be bringing three or four or five-year-olds up here, really. You can if you like, but, uh, you know, I'm not the police on that. I'm just telling you, right near the edge. So it's good that they've paved a little track. But right here, you know, if you're not quite on point here... Bang, once you get that momentum and start rolling down here, I don't think anything's going to stop you, at least for a long way. So it could be, could be death. But look, have, just have a look at that view, eh? That road over there, that's the Mount Sterling Road, going up the other side of the mountain there. So Mount Buller with no snow on it. And this is what the track's like in anyway, to give you an idea. It's pretty good, you know. They've sort of paved it and done a bit of, you know. So it's just like steps, really. You know, it's not 100% or anything. Got a few bees, plenty of mozzies and whatever. And a few bigger steps as well, no big deal. But, you know, that's about a three, 400 mil step. Whoop. So you're basically just walking up along the ridge. walking up that ridge there over to the right here right side back towards Mansfield and this is now facing north anyway guys hopefully you got a bit of a indication what it looks like how long would it take to walk up from that cul-de-sac down there well the first part of the hill steep but easy you can see that from that cul-de-sac there 
Uh, that's yeah, five minutes if you take a bit of a break up to the end of the cables here. We'll call this the end of the cables, the top of the lifts, right? Either side of the picture. Uh, five minutes. And then probably, yeah, so top 10 minutes tops to get there. If you are really fitting into it, you could get up there in five minutes. So not a massive walk. Just, uh, just one to be cautious of. You know, it's not a hard walk, you know. Definitely older people can do it as well. Um, and I know they do. They do it better than younger people quite often, you know. So, no issues there. Just letting you know. Awesome view. Worth the walk if you come up this far. Go the rest of the way. And be careful with the young ones. And I think that's a butter bing. We're out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe and turn that bell on. The bell's next to the subscribe button to make sure you get an email when we put a video up so you don't miss it. We're hopefully going to get some even better, awesome touring experiences for you to share. See you guys.